What's up, all you cool kids? This is Daisy Collins of TsunamiRose.net coming at you live from my craft room here in Las Vegas, Nevada, as I do Monday through Friday, bringing you junk journal content and videos. Hello, you guys. How are you? I hope everybody is doing good. I hope everybody had a good weekend. I am here to have some fun today. Finally, Get to sit down and do a little bit of decoupage. I was hoping I can get some envelopes done. That sounds like it would be really cool. I'm using um, napkins here. In this case, also I'm also using tissues also. And I right now I'm just cutting them apart. Different sizes. Some of them I'll do like little tiny strips. Make sure I get like an inch and a half strip or something. Tiny little pieces. Got my scissors here. I also have a couple of the Christmas napkin paper uh, pack samples uh, still available in my store. So if you would like to check those out, you get 10 different Christmas napkins in the pack. So thank you guys so much for checking that out. And I have a couple left. And, oh, and then I have this one. I don't believe I have in this pile. So I believe it's new, if I'm not mistaken. So if it's here, it's new to me. Hi, Miss Jen. How are you? I got your package all, all, all ready to go. Somehow I was able to uh, cram it all together. <laughs> I was able to put it all together in one package. You get these awesome stars here. Just put this together. It's it's huge. It's a huge package. It's like three pounds. <laughs> Something ridiculous like that. So expect a nice. It's literally the size of a child. <laughs> and I love it. pieces here. I do usually end up using my, my uh, rotary cutter for things like this. Just makes it easier. Nothing has to be precise, of course. Little strips too. And I'm probably going to only keep like one of each of these um, tissues here, which is honestly enough for a lot. Oh my gosh. You know what I don't like? I don't like one hour naps. It's the worst. <laughs> you know when you they tell you like, oh you have one hour, one hour to take a nap. I can't do it. I always end up worrying about me oversleeping for how about half an hour and then I can sleep for about a half hour. Okay, okay. So we got some of that. Let's cut the rest. Oh, I'm coming out. I'm going to work on a new junk journal soon. I think, maybe, <laughs> perhaps. Because we'll I'm working on a pink rose Christmas, uh, Christian Christmas junk journal kit. So I'm going to work on that, converting the other kit into pink roses. I know I did one with roses, and then they said, why don't I do one with pink roses? Okay, so I think that's all the tissues. I think I have all of these. Do I have this one? There are some pieces of it I can see here. Okay, I can see some pieces. Okay. I think this one I don't have, and then this one I don't have. So let's cut those up. Look at these tissues. I, I just went all crazy a couple of years ago with the tissues. Just a little crazy, just a little bit. Sorry, I'm having a pop tart. Mm -hmm. Just 
going to have a little pop tart moment. Okay. Um, they look so nice, so beautiful. And these are just, they're not hard to split in half. So where is everyone tonight, girl? I don't know. Sometimes uh, YouTube takes a minute to send out the notifications. I don't know. Sometimes it takes like an hour, hour and a half to send in the notifications. I don't know why. Okay. So I am officially ready to take a posh. So what I'm going to try, this might have glue particles on it, I have the Stains by Caddy Pockets in green and bullet. Try that first, see how I like it. I haven't tried these before. Miss Beverly, hello. I'm using this book page, this cookbook book page, and it's really big. It's not the strongest paper, but it's not it's not old paper, so it's not going to crunch in half when I fold it, so that's important. Don't use paper as a base that is old and crunchy. <laughs> Don't do it. I had to go get a hot chocolate. I was in the mood for hot chocolate. Okay, so I have um, my little silicone brush here, which is what I use in place of any brush, really. I don't, I don't actually have brushes. So let me use this green one first. Let me shake it. I've had it for a minute. It's actually kind of dusty. I'm like, okay. And again, this is my Patty Pockets. I'll leave a link to it. Oh, what a beautiful green. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna put some. Okay, let's see how I like it in green. I don't know. Hang on, this piece is too big. Let's see, I don't know. Is it gonna ruin it all? It's like too colorful. Huh, but I kind of like it on just the paper itself. Look at this. On just the paper? That is kind of a beautiful stain just on the paper. I don't know about my collage here for Christmas because it looks like it's going to darken everything like a lot. <laughs> but just as a stain for this paper would make this Christmas looking, you know? Let me see. I just don't know if I like how it looks like with these, with this paper in particular for Christmas. I don't know. I don't know. But I like the paper stain as a paper stain. Decoupage wise, it kind of takes over everything. If you want everything to look very green, that would be great. Got a lot of color. Certainly has a lot of color. Wow. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Again, the way it stains the paper is beautiful because look, it's already kind of dried out. I like that. But also, maybe it will lighten when it dries. I don't know. We'll leave it off to the side and we'll check it out later. I was just experimenting with it. It's not going to work for these Christmas envelopes, though. So let me put it away. <laughs> let me go get my decoupage glue, which I believe I still have some. Oh my goodness. I am I am low on the decoupage. 
glue. And here I am wanting to decoupage. Like, wow, easy. <laughs> Amazing timing. Oh my goodness. Hang on, I didn't think this through. This thing is like really stuck together. Like, give me one second. I literally have to smash this on the ground. One moment. Okay, after I smashed it on the ground a couple times, <laughs> I like to seal it apparently when it still has glue. Okay, well this is how much decoupage fun we can have. As much as, as much as comes off this jar here. Is it really all is it dried out? Hang on. This is like that world's nastiest decoupage glue bottle ever. I know I have some brown stain. On the brown stain. Hang on, I'm trying to like check and see if it's all right up. No, it's just really, really stuck down here. Hang on. Ugh. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's literally like drying out, I guess, is what it's doing. But I still have enough. I'm going to work with it. I'm going to try. <laughs> oh, I'm like getting all the goop, all the glue. See, the, uh, see it's all, it's literally like a paste almost now. Okay. It doesn't look like it, but that's actually a lot of glue. All right. Okay. Give me a second. <laughs> I got to clean myself up because I had to really put my whole hand in that jar of the polish. <laughs> Miss Zena, spray it. Spray it with what, girl? Water, maybe? I'm just going to use it right now. So, oh, my God. Put my whole hand in the jar. <laughs> okay, okay, we're back. We're back. I'm going to get another piece of paper here. Again, don't, don't, um, decoupage on, uh, Fragile paper. Don't do it. I tried it once and it didn't work out. Okay. So let's see. I'm going to stick that there. Get this here. This is literally paste. <laughs> And my video is called part one because I'm going to, right now I'm just going to decoupage and then tomorrow we'll come back and turn them into actually actual envelopes. So right now we're just decoupaging. Why is it so crunchy? Oh, it's because there's, okay, I see. Because there's glue. Kind of love decoupage, getting glue everywhere. It's great. Wonderful, I love it. I love it. Okay, so we'll do that there. Now, obviously, I gotta go buy more decoupage glue. Oh my god, I didn't think about that. I didn't think about the decoupage glue when I wanted to decoupage, didn't think about it. Okay, okay. I think we got the glue. Add water for sure. I don't think I need to add water. I think we're good. I don't want to make a mess. I'll just go buy more glue. <laughs> I'll buy more glue to borrow. Okay. Okay. This little spot here in the middle. I need something. Right there, just like that. I could try and I'm gonna run out of glue for, for later for more fun. 
because uh, ideally, obviously, you would want to decoupage on top of the paper too. Put the glue on top of the paper, but I'm not doing that in the snowflake. Snowflake paper. I got a couple sample packs of napkins if you need Christmas napkins. If you do, if you do, you get 10 different designs. And that's it. Okay, so here, ooh, let's put the stars. It needs a little bit more green. Just a little bit more green. I need to put glue on top of it. I'm just spending more green here. Green, 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 green. Stuck to my fingers. There we go. That's a lot of green right there. Let's work on this side now. Grabbing stuff, possibly too much stuff. See, like right here, there's no glue over here at all. My glue again is like a paste consistency. I could add water, but oh my god, do I want to right now? Not really. <laughs> over here. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, this fun green napkin, which I love. Love that green napkin. Why is everything... Okay, see, there's, like, glue this everywhere, and it's making my, my work surface bumpy, okay? Okay. There we go. Ooh, ooh, we got this beautiful green setia. Why did I not think about checking on my decoupage glue? I did not think about it at all. It's just museum. Oh yes, Mazina, did you send me that one? <clears throat> I was trying to remember who sent me what, because I know two people two people, you and another person sent me um some Christmas napkins. I was fortunate enough to receive some beautiful napkins from Mazina, which I'm finally putting to use here. You know, something that was chunky. Here we go, that looks beautiful right there. Oh, this is fun. This is gonna be a fun envelope. And we're just having fun gluing stuff down. Yes, yes we are. I'm gonna put this right here. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you. Let's see here. Oh, this paper is fun. This is tissue paper. Hey, there we go. There we go. Hang on, let me get this. Oh my gosh, my glue is so chunky. Chunky, chunky glue. All right, I'll put some water in it. Cause look at it, it's a little. <laughs> it's not good. 
Maybe if I had some water, I can get to it. I don't know. Okay, I added a splash of water. Just a little. <laughs> you guys, why did I not check on my glue for decoupage, for decoupage night? It's, it might be too chunky. It is dissolving though. It is. I think. <laughs> Who doesn't check on their decoupage glue on decoupage night? Hello, Daisy. Very unprofessional. You're right, you guys. I'm sorry. Highly unprofessional. This might just crinkle up all my paper because it's so much, so watery now. <laughs> I'm trying, you guys. I'm trying. To I'm trying to be crafty. It's not working out. <laughs> I'm trying to be as crafty as I can be. I do have some of her brown decoupage stuff that I've had in the fridge for a while, but I wonder if it's gross. It might be moldy. This is literally just like holding water. I don't think I have any more decoupage food. What did I do? I could have swore I had more though, like I really could. This, is this going to be a fail? Oh my god. The only other thing I have are these, um, these glue sticks. Can you take a pause with those glue sticks? Question mark, question mark. Can you or can you not? No Elmer's. No, I don't have Elmer's. I don't have Elmer's. Mm -mm. I only have oh, Elmer's washable glue sticks. I don't actually. I only have good glue. <laughs> I have my Eileen's and my little glue sticks. This might make it too wet. You know what I mean? Still haven't decided. I might have to go get like actual fake posh glue because. Daisy, I'm trying to get back in the game. I'm telling you, I'm trying my best. Okay, let's see this. I got plenty of glue, glue sticks. This might have to be the way to go if it works. And decoupage on top, I suppose. Add glue on top. Let's see, we're testing it out. Good thing is I can add glue as I go. Also, this is less messy than glue, than decoupage glue, that's for sure. Way less messier than decoupage glue. Will it work? I don't know. I don't know if it'll work. On this decoupage glue that's just too watery. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry about the madness tonight. Bunch of vintage book pages with the green stuff. That would be cool. 
That would be cool to be stuff. Tiffany, hi Tiffany. Can you water down Eileen's? I probably could. I probably could water down Eileen's for it. But I think this glue stick situation is actually working. I think it's actually working. I don't know about a layer like on top. Oh gosh, really? I don't know about like a layer on top of this. Oh, the Elmer's one. I don't know. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see what this would look like if I did add more glue on top. What would what would this be? What would this turn into? Is this crazy? This is a little crazy. But I'm gonna try it. Okay, well, I'll be able to tell in a minute. I'll tell you in a minute how that went. You're not a fan of glue sticks? I, they have their place. They have their place. I don't use them a lot, but they do have their place, especially when I'm gluing down stamps. Like the Eileen's glue will just rip it to shreds. But if I use a glue stick on, on my stamps, it works great. But I'm usually not a fan of glue sticks myself. But you know what, right now, it's working right now for me right now. It's working. Then, like I said, I plan on putting a layer of decoupage glue on top to seal it. So I'm not too concerned about it right now. Not right now. Right now, it's my friend. Glue sticks are good. Yes, and also shiny paper. I can only glue down with glue sticks. I don't know why, but that is the case. I can only glue stuff down with glue sticks and shiny paper. That is true. Don't know why. I don't know the science behind it, but there's something about it. Here. This is actually going pretty well with the glue stick. You're holding it down really good, actually. Hi, Miss Gigi. Everything feels back except the Megan's and stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's going to be sticky on top. I just thought about it. It could be sticky. We could run into that issue. But I'm just experimenting right now because I decided to do a decoupage episode without checking my decoupage clip. Without even checking if I had any. Because that is my style. Okay. Okay, okay. There we go. Okay. You know, it's actually doing the uh, the napkins, holding on to the napkins really well. I'm shocked. I don't know about as a layer. Oh, it's actually drying really good. I'm surprised. <laughs> How good it's 
destroy underneath here. The least glue sticks could hold down is tissue paper. I mean, come on. That's the least they can do. They should be able to. Do a couple solid colors here, maybe. A little spot over here. Okay. You're just not a <laughs> chance. Jen's like, I'm not a fan. You know, I've, uh, I've never used the purple brand of glue sticks, but I got this. It was part, okay, so it was basically like the only option at the, the Target was this brand, this type of glue stick right here. Either that or it was like their knockoff brand, and I didn't really want their knockoff brand. Um, but. I always see drag queens using this specific purple glue to glue down their eyebrows. Like literally every drag queen will put their, their eyebrows down with this glue. So I'm like, maybe it's good. I don't know. I can't remember the last time I needed to buy. I've been buying the same brand of uh, glue stick for a while. But this time it was an emergency. It was a glue stick emergency. And... <laughs> I needed like glue stick that day. Couldn't order it on Amazon. So, so far, this has been working really well. Over here, it's starting to dry off being the top coat. I placed it as a top coat. It's the stickiness is starting to go away. We'll see. I'm still not sure about that, but we'll see. We'll see how that one goes in a minute. Okay. Corner, tiniest little corner. Oh my goodness, it ripped apart. Hang on, it ripped apart. My daughter uses for her cosplay, yes. <laughs> Hang on, now I gotta sneeze. Excuse me. Okay. So I did one whole decoupage page with a glue stick. And you know what? I kind of like the glue stick. I got it for the tissue. It's just a little bit easier. Less messy. Doesn't get all over my fingers. Over here, I'm testing it as a dry coat, as a top coat. I'm testing it. I want to see if it, it's not sticky. If it's not sticky, then you know what? It's actually... A pretty successful top coat as well, where it like joins everything. Let me get right up against this edge right here. And I'm gonna try this as a. It's actually working pretty well as even a sealer. And add another layer. I'll set that off to the side. So I know I can decoupage with it. Top coat, I still don't know. But for sure, decoupage is possible. I'm going to let that dry. And then we'll get to another one. Miss Violet. <laughs> what are you doing today, Miss Violet? Avoiding trouble today, maybe. Okay. Let's finish here. Well, not finish. We're still going. <laughs> we are still going here. Okay, nice little layer there. Get started on the edge too. On the edge is done. Let's go. Let's go. I bet it's more expensive using glue sticks. Um, possibly. 
I can't remember how much I got this whole pack. I got a whole pack of them. They were pretty cheap. But I know this thing's probably like $6 for like two pounds of glue, though. <laughs> so it probably doesn't compare. <laughs> probably doesn't exactly compare. But these aren't expensive. These are not the most expensive things. Is it the most expensive decoupage glue I've ever used? I don't think so. I don't think so. But it works. I'm like honestly shocked that I like it. Because I mean, I like I said, I mean, usually glue sticks, they have their place certain things that I need them for. <coughs> Excuse me. But you know what? I am really liking this. It just, it's less messy and it helps me get more of a precision on where I want the glue. So that I like. So I'm into that part of it. And I mean, I could even put the glue on the tissue itself, which is actually pretty cool. Can't do that with, can't do that with Mod Posh. <clears throat> like that, you see that? That was magic right there. I could not do that with Mod Posh at all. Mm -mm. Not gonna happen, not gonna happen. Okay, and you know what? It's, <clears throat> it dries quick. I kind of like it. <laughs> I'm kind of into it. Again, I'm just decoupaging on some book paper here, on some like recipe book paper. And um, I'm using that purple washable school glue. And I am loving it. Oops. Loving it. Let's see this neck in here. Maybe you just go right there. Wonder if it works well to put my posh on top. That's what I'm. That's what I'm um, waiting for. I'm probably gonna have to go buy my posh tomorrow so I can do that. Um, but for this part, you know what? I I'm gonna give this a thumbs up because I love this. That it's so clean, and that my fingers are clean. I love that. <laughs> Put the glue on top like that if I need to. All right. Checking on this experiment. It is drying. And it's losing its tackiness. So you know what? I think it might do just as good on, as Mod Posh on top of this collage. I think. That experiment is still going. But I believe... Could be as good as my wash. It's, I'm thinking. I'm thinking about it. Right here. And just like that. Just like that. I would definitely mod posh on top of it. Hang on, I almost hit the keyboard. <laughs> Not good. Not good. <laughs> got. Oh, I got this here. And I got the little pieces. Okay. Hot strawberry coffee with whipped cream. Mmm, that sounds good. Oh, I love it. This is fun, guys. I love big coffee. Big It's just so free. 
I don't think about it too, too much. I do, but I try not to. I try just to, you know, stick it out. <laughs> so to say, so to say. All right. Let's see here. I do. I've done a lot of things with just decoupage napkins. I've made pretty little borders. Uh, not borders. What are they called? They are called um, trim. I've made, I cut this into strips and then I add lace to it and I make it into trim. You can make these into journal pages. Tags if you want to um, decoupage onto something heavier. I'm just going to leave this for later for like decoupage on top. You know what? This actually works really. I am shocked at how good this works as a top coat. It looks just like Mod Podge to be honest with you. Still purple underneath here. I can tell it still looks purple to blue underneath. But you know what? It turned it all into one piece, and it's, dare I say, just as good as Mod Podge. Dare I say even better, because it doesn't work your paper, because it doesn't have a lot of water, right? There's no water in this. Well, there is, but it's very minimal, so it's not warping my paper, which I kind of love. Now, I put two coats on that side. On here, I might just put one. We'll see how I like it. Just, well, actually, I'm going over, I'm going over it kind of heavy. Hang on. I think I kind of like this. And shockingly, like I said, it's not sticky. It's not tacky at all. It's very much just dry glue. This one I'm just going to do as an experiment, but I am going to buy Mod Podge tomorrow to finish this off so I can make these into envelopes tomorrow. Okay, that's interesting. We're going to, this is just an experiment I'm doing here. And, uh, see, that didn't stick. <laughs> and then we'll see about the results. Is it really not sticky, Daisy? Because it just stuck to your fingers. <laughs> We'll look at the comparison. Give me one moment, you guys. One moment. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's keep going. Cute, cute envelopes. Again, I'm starting with book page that's pretty large, so it's gonna make a nice sized envelope. Oh, let me fix my hair, you guys, because uh, it's going to be too loose. My hair is so long now, it's back to where it was when I cut it. <laughs> I cut it not too long ago, like almost, I guess it's been a year. I guess it has been a year since I cut it. It's got so long. Right. Gonna try and I cut these up so small last time. This time that I cut up my napkins, I didn't cut them up so small. I cut them into pretty big pieces, actually. There we go. got mine cut. Well, I got it cut. Awesome. I 
I like my long hair, but my hair gets on my last nerve. But when I cut it, I miss it. <laughs> it's that kind of relationship. <laughs> I don't want it when I have it. When I don't have it, I want it. It's just, it's an arranging cycle with me. I do like my hair long, but it's just, it gets on my nerves. It makes me hot. Sometimes it feels like I'm wearing a freaking helmet. <laughs> It really does feel like a helmet sometimes. It's just life is tough. Life is so tough. <laughs> and then it grows back like crazy, always crazy fast. And it does get heavy. It gets heavy. It gets hot. But like I said, when I don't have it, I'm like, I shouldn't have had it cut it so small. <laughs> but in a year, it's always back to wherever I cut it. Always, always, it's always back. Uh, we got this paisley here. Use that paisley. There, and my second cut since COVID first thing. Yeah, I've only had one haircut since COVID. Since, um, yeah, I went to go get my haircut with my cousin. Yeah. Right there. Nice. Last time I cut it, I was like, oh, why did I cut it so small? Why? <laughs> Looking at the same papers. There we go. Some little tiny snowflake paper. Okay, okay. 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 Okay, okay, there we go. You got it layered. I always, you know what? I think I always get it layered. I don't, I don't think I've ever had it not layered. Because every time I'm like, oh, I don't want it layered, my mom comes up. Even to this day, I'll be like, no, she wants it layered. And I'll be like, oh, whatever. I really, I honestly, I don't even care what my hair looks like. Because 90% of the time, I have it up in a bun anyways, or in a ponytail. It really doesn't matter what my hair looks like. <laughs> I have learned to just kind of accept whatever haircut I get. I've, I've even been known to go to the, a hairstylist and just be like, honestly, just cut it like whatever. I really don't care what you do. Like, I've literally said that to people, like, just cut it. I just, I really don't care. Layered or don't, whatever. I just do something because I, <laughs> I have no options. I have no opinions on my hair because it always ends up in a ponytail. I think that's what I told my cousin last time. And she's like, you want it layered? I'm like, my mom always says to get it layered. I'm 30 years old, you guys. <laughs> I'm 30 years old and I'm still over here like, yeah, my mom says do it later. <laughs> uh, let's see, is that glue strong? It keeps all this hold. It seems to. I use this glue when I glue down stamps because, you know, they're so light that it always holds it there. Um, this is the first time I've been doing it with tissue. So I'll tell you tomorrow, but so far I like it. So far it's holding on to them. So there's that. So far it's good. And I like it because it makes it for a little bit better uh, decoupage experience. I am going to go on top of it with a decoupage glue when I buy some tomorrow because <laughs> apparently I'm out. But tomorrow when I go on top of it with the decoupage, but for now, the first layer here, it's nice. I really am digging using this glue here. This is the, the one where I glued all on top of it. And the glue, it still needs to dry because it's purple underneath here. It's no longer purple here. And the... Uh, 
maybe it like needs some of the pages curled back in. I would say it's as good as decoupage. And it's not sticking to my, well, it kind of is. It's coming off though. It's coming off. It's not as sticky as it was earlier. And uh, on this one, I use it as a top glue, a top coat, which I don't know if that worked. But it works with the tissue very, very well. They're all on here. They're not coming off. So that's good. This is when I didn't put a top coat on. And uh, it's holding on very well to this. So, I mean, is it strong enough to hold something heavy? Probably not. Is it strong enough to hold tissue paper down? Yes, it is. It is good enough for tissue paper, which right now I love. Okay, let's do one more here. Yeah, I've always had layers. Always. I'm really not adventurous with haircuts at all. Like, I'm really not. I'm really not adventurous with my hair at all. You know why? Because I know I'm not going to... You could, I could pick the fanciest, you know, cut in the magazine. I am not going to style it. I'm not a person that styles their hair. I'm just not. So it would never look like that for me. So just cut it like just regular. I'm, I'm so low maintenance with my hair. I don't know how to like style my hair or anything like that. My younger sister went to school for that and she... She dolled me up with my mom whenever there was a party, but now I look like a, I look like whatever, because my sister's no longer here in this, living here within the state. <laughs> so it's been sad ever since. <laughs> it's been sad, so sad ever since. Okay, let's try and finish this. I miss my sister doing my hair for parties. <laughs> For free, because I, you know, she's my sister. Otherwise, I'd have to go pay somebody. No, I would never pay anybody. I would just look like whatever, like I do now. <laughs> I would just look like I do now, probably. Okay. Ooh, this would look nice. Gotta cut some strips too. You can't just do all squares. Some strips need strips. Okay, okay. I want to finish, but you guys, <laughs> I drank too much hot coffee. I mean, hot chocolate. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to log off. For the night, but tomorrow I'll be back and we have at least four envelopes here to work with. I'm not trying to make a million envelopes this time. Shocker, I know, because I normally try to make a bazillion of envelopes. But this time, I think I'm just going to make the envelopes that I have here in front of me. And we'll make them nice and fancy with like lace or something. We'll make them look real pretty. Real, real pretty. We'll take some time with them. <laughs> okay, you guys, I am going to log off for now. Tomorrow I'll come back and these will be decoupaged on top, layered on top, um, sealed on top. So that'll be better. I'm still trying to still trying to finish over here, even though I'm like, I gotta go, I gotta go. Okay, you guys, I hope everybody had a good day today. Sorry to cut it short a tiny little bit. But we'll be back tomorrow for some more fun, and we'll see if uh, this we'll see if this glue held on to the tissue paper. <laughs> Hopefully it did, but I, I'll let you know how this experiment went. And uh, you guys, really, honestly, don't try and do a decoupage video unless you check your decoupage glue. <laughs> don't, don't be like me, okay, you guys? Check your decoupage glue before you decide you want to take posh. Okay, that's just a little tip. <laughs> it's just a little tip from me to you. Okay, you guys. Thank you so, so much. I will see y'all tomorrow. Okay, thank you.
for coming to hang out with me. And again, I have Christmas napkin sample packs <laughs> in my store and they're available. I will um, talk to you all tomorrow. Bye.